Hey, my Pisces, welcome to my channel, Flirty Savage Spirit. Of course, this is Carol Bay, and we're going to get into your weekly for this week. We're going to jump past the general and just get into the boom, boom, room, the love, which is what 90% of you guys are here for anyway. So let's just see my Pisces, my water sign, what is going down for Pisces this week. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. And we have the Queen of Swords, which is representing anyone with an air sign. The hair font representing relationships and also the Taurus. The Sun card for me is Cancer. Um, Nine of Wands is also here as well. So right off the bat, I feel like that there is a relationship that you are willing to fight for that you are willing to seek your happiness. And even if you guys are in separation or was in separation, there was a choice to fight for this situation. And you kind of feel like the wounded soldier a little bit, the one that's coming in, standing your ground, feeling like if things doesn't work this time, um, then it's just not going to work. Or I'm going to give this one last shot and I'm going to give it one last shot because I'm giving, I'm getting like happiness, fun times. This is the father or mother of my son. Um, and I want to make this relationship or this marriage actually work. So I'm making kind of like the executive decision that's here. I just kind of feel like this is more of a head over heart decision more than it is like, you know, I just love this person so much. I feel like this is more so I'm going to choose to make this work and be the the wounded soldier that comes in limping with three fingers, you know, to try to make the situation work. Because I want my son to be happy. I want to have that traditional type of relationship, family unit. Like just more so of an executive decision is going on in your relationships this week, Pisces. See, what other information do we have? What else do we have going on? Page of Pentacles representing Earth energy. Four of Swords in reverse. The Tower. And then the Page of Swords in reverse air energy again um, both of these as well if you're definitely dealing with someone and you have a son with them or they have a son or you just have a son period um, this is definitely seems to be kind of speaking to you I feel like that there is a disagreement that and I feel like this is kind of separately from this or either sometimes this works backwards like this happens first and then that's when you you go into the nine of ones energy energy because it definitely seems like there is an argument that ensues this week that is sudden the unexpected comes out of the blue it wakes your ass up you know and it it crumbles kind of what you guys have built it definitely comes out of nowhere and it makes you a bit uncertain about this beginning you know with this page of pentacles this this role that you thought that you was on to this type of longevity with this person. I feel like this could also be like a conversation between you and your person of where, where are things going and they don't have the answer that you were hoping for. And it crumbles the tower because you are more so thinking that you guys was headed somewhere or you was headed to this traditional relationship. And maybe that's why you're fighting for this because that's what you truly want, even though this person seems to be in opposition to that, or they're at least are telling you something that doesn't line up with what you actually want. And it's causing you to, you know, have some difficulties. I feel like there is also some sleepless nights that's going on here behind this argument this week. Let's see, what else do we have? Yeah, five of one, still conflict, but some balance, six of pentacles, empress in reverse knight of swords that's here taurus libra again taurus energy is represented here for the third time i just feel like that there was maybe this conversation that blew the whistle on everything was about like that stability that home life that somebody is wanting i also feel like that this could have been a conflict because somebody was wanting to share spaces like i want to move in with you or i want us to get a space together but it ended up being that this person doesn't want that. So it starts to make you think, are there other third parties that's here? Are you being a hoe? You know, why is it that you don't want to make movement on this particular situation? And it's, it's got you a bit worried because, again, you seem to want this more of this 
stability, uh, traditional way that's here. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. So if you don't have a particular person, you know, in mind, so let's say that you're single or you have a situation, but it's not really one way or the other, like this person can go. You don't have to like keep it. Let's just see what's going on for those Pisces, those that's not actually attached to somebody. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups in reverse, Page of Wands in reverse, and then Queen of Pentacles. Again, I'm still just feeling like Earth energy is like all the way around you guys uh, this week. So basically, for those that are my singles, I feel like that there are still blocks in communication, especially if you are in separation from somebody that is an Earth sign. I see you waiting, still waiting on love or waiting on communication. Something is actually blocking you. It's telling you that you need to do some self-healing or there is some messages or downloads that spirit is trying to give you because you definitely seem to some of you guys are still kind of getting over a broken heart. And that's why you haven't been able to move forward uh, and move forward to finding somebody that will give you the ten of cups. So this week doesn't seem extra promising for my singles, but it is telling you that this is the week that if you are wanting something, you have to manifest it. And the way that you manifest it is by becoming the person that you that you are trying to attract. So if you're needing someone that is emotionally available, make sure that you are an emotionally available person is what I am getting here. Let's just pull some random Oracle messages here from my Flirty Savage Oracle day. And what do we have here? Hiding things. Hotline bling. So some type of communication coming in for someone or either the communication is hiding someone deserves some good good and someone does not know what they want so if you are this person that had someone but things seems to be a little bit rocky or there is some uh things that was hitting or maybe your feelings or their intentions of where they're wanting to go you know, that is what causes the tower to come down, but it ends up getting resolved. The person comes back in, tries to, you know, hit you up or whatever, but they try to have their wanker or their sex to fix the situation. So you still don't end up figuring out like what it is that they actually want in the situation because they just come back in and just think sex is supposed to fix everything and not like clarity. Like the person still tries to get away from giving you some type of clarity of where they stand when it comes to your connection with them. Other messages that I have is true love. And the next one I have is express your love and then reconsider. So I feel like this, again, is just honing in, again, that same message of someone that you may have thought that you had a true love connection with, someone that you was willing to fight for this connection for. You expressed your love and then they are leaving you wanting to reconsider what it is that you actually feel because they're not giving you clarity that this is exactly what they want. Even though you're feeling like this person could actually be the one um, they could be, but maybe just not right now, at least not this week anyway. So wish I had some better news for you. It's not all bad. It's just more so of like, this is the week of you just finding out those things that are hitting or things just really come into light and you figuring out what side of, what side of the line do you want to fight for or what side are you going to be on? So Pisces, that's pretty much what I have for you for this week. Oh, did it stop? No, it didn't stop. Great. <laughs> so basically, that's all that I have for you this week. I hope you subscribe. If you hadn't, click that subscribe button right there at the bottom. And turn your notifications on if you want to know when I post. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow for the dailies. Or either I'll see you next week for the weeklies.